To win in a big game is always a statement, uh, and uh, we are in, in it. Uh, you know, we are two points off the leaders uh, of Manchester City. So let's continue. I hope that uh, that result today will give us uh, belief and ambition to, to fight for it, yes. Embarrassed in the Champions League against Olympiakos and under fire for his decision to drop Petr Cech for that game. Arsene Wenger needed a big performance from his team this weekend and that's exactly what he got as the Gunners blew Manchester United away inside 20 explosive minutes at the Emirates before slamming the door shut in the second half. Wenger believes the result shows his side might finally be able to play in the correct way on the big occasions. He focused on what is important in the game and uh, that is part of being at the top level. The pressure on any disappointment today is massive and uh, you have to it's maybe a bit more difficult to deal with it, but we did well. The nature of the victory certainly sends a message to the likes of Bayern Munich, who visit the Emirates after the international break. But whether Arsenal can replicate such a high level on a consistent basis is yet to be proven. Louis van Gaal gave an honest view as to why his side capitulated with less than a quarter of the game gone. When you give a team as Arsenal so much space to play football, then you know that you shall lose. The midfield players, especially uh, Casola and Ozil, had too much time and space. And they, they have the quality to take a profit of it. Space is a luxury Bayern will not afford Arsenal in the Champions League in two weeks' time. And given that a loss would effectively end the club's interest in the competition, another team performance like Sunday's will go a long way to showing that Arsenal are finally evolving under the man who divides opinion like no other. Thank you.